we present Electric Pop, a new computational design and fabrication workflow that allows mylar sheets to be programmatically and rapidly actuated into complex 3D shapes. Metallized PET, commonly called mylar, costs less than $1 per square meter. Mylar is easily cut with hand tools or by industrial processes such as die cutting and cutting plotter machines. In this research, we used a laser cutter for prototyping. When charged with static electricity, mylar will repel from leg charged objects. The electrostatic repulsion allows us to pop up structures from the space with a metal coating. By introducing a cut, the mylar will repel from itself, again due to leg charges repelling from one another. The deflationary force allows us to create interesting geometries from flat sheets. A slit, which we define as a cut joint on both sides, causes the mylar to form a loop. Many slits can be cut, creating an array of ribbon-like features that repel from one another to create a sphere-like structure. Flaps are a special type of slit, where the cut does not follow a straight line, but rather creates an enclosed area which is repulsed by the main body. Flaps can also be nested, which then repel from one another and can be used to create other interesting geometries. As before, many flap features can be arrayed to create complex 3D forms. Finally, the silhouette of a design can be varied, along with interior embellishments to add details. These design primitives can be combined to create a wide array of 3D objects that self-actuate with the application of electrostatic charge. For actuation, we constructed two proof-of-concept digitally controlled static generators. One is built around a miniature Van de Graaff generator controlled by an Arduino, while the other uses a transformer and a Raspberry Pi. Both designs cost under $10, not including the control board. The transformation from 2D to 3D is not always intuitive, and there can be complex interactions between repelling elements. Thus, to facilitate efficient iterative design, we built a simulation tool that operates in concert with a vector editing program. This allows for a what you see is what you get style editing, supporting rapid prototyping of forms without having to physically fabricate each output. We used our workflow to create a series of illustrative demos, we emphasize that the material cost of these demos is just a few cents each. For example, the flower we designed could be used as an ambient display. The level of wilt can be coupled with a dynamic value, such as stock index or household water consumption. Different physical elements can be individually actuated, as seen in this weather forecast ambient display. We also envision smart speakers with pop-up avatars, offering a new mode of embodiment. By varying the actuation voltage, we can even create rudimentary animations, such as this avatar trying to draw the user's attention. Swappable accessory tops could also allow for inexpensive avatar personalization. The flat geometry of our designs means that they could be mailed and used for pop-up holiday cards and decoration, such as this Christmas tree. We can also enhance existing objects by adding actuatable interactive elements, such as decorative wings and streamers on this Quidditch trophy. Finally, our technique could also be used to create pop-up books and other more immersive educational experiences. Here a squid attacks a fish, while on this page a clam on the reef opens to feed. Please see our paper for full details.